Some people saw my previous videos of magnetic loops but wanted more detail. It's actually a lot simpler than what people think. All the loop is, is a single tuned circuit. The main loop looks like this. A single turn coil and a tuning capacitor. Think of when you strike a length of metal. It resonates at a particular frequency. A magnetic loop works the same way. When you strike it with a bit of RF, it resonates at a particular frequency, determined both by the length of the loop and the value of the capacitor. Now if the loop's made bigger, ding, 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 it resonates at a lower frequency. And when it's made smaller, it resonates at a higher frequency. So you don't have to have lots of loops, one for each band. You can also change its resonant frequency by making the capacitor variable. When the capacitor's plates are unmeshed, the loop resonates at a high frequency. When they are closed and the capacitor is screwed down, the resonant frequency drops. Now in music we have a stick to strike the triangle. We need something to do our striking for us that couples the RF from the transmitter to the loop. There's different ways to do it. You've probably heard of gamma matches, but one of the easiest is just to have a smaller loop inside the larger loop. It is to these two points that you connect your coax to your transceiver. So that's all a magnetic loop is. It's a tuned circuit that radiates. RWA beacon. Come back in and see who's around uh, again. Anybody else from Australia? Is it is three Yankee to think. Three six two zero three. And he's walking along the beach, walking all band. QRP pedestrian mobile does not get any better than that. I can tell you. 